Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox presenting for the Funky Junkie Boutique. So today I'm presenting this very spooky card that I created using the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous new releases. So again, here is Forbidding and Obscure. And again, I used parts off of both of these, this particular stamp set. I also used the black, pitch black uh, grit paste. And I used two stencils, THS 162 and 171 for uh, backgrounds and accents. So I started using Seedless Preserve, Chip, Chip Sapphire, and Uncharted Mariner. Again, I wanted a very deep, dark um, purple background. So again, I'm playing with some watercolor paper. And here's where you get inky by mixing them all together. So again, when I picked it up, I just added some more water. That's the cool thing about Distress Inks is that, you know, again, if you're not happy with it, you can add more water, you can splatter, you can keep dipping and drying, which is what I did to create this very, very deep, dark background. So again, this, here we go again, just more dipping and drying. And again, look how nice and dark uh, that background is turning out. So again, we're going to heat dry it here. And again, the layers, this is what makes ink smooshing and distress ink so wonderful because again, you can layer, layer upon layer and get great depth and color. So again, I'm going to spray one more time and then do one more dip. <laughs> and then we'll dry it back off and it'll be ready to go. Look at that. I love this deep, 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 dark background. So the next thing I did was I pulled out the um, THS 162, kind of these, um, I don't know, creepy floral things. And I'm using the black grit paste that just came out. So again, I'm using one of the palette knives and just kind of spreading it on. And again, I kind of wanted it to look like it was coming from the right side. So this is the right side of the the card front and then we'll go ahead and position uh, the other rose section up near the top so again i had a lot of fun just using this 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 black paste is just really fun to play with so again kind of positioning it so that it's not really sitting over anything um, and we'll go ahead and add that black um, black grit paste here it's yeah this this stuff is fun to play with so again, I'm happy that I invested. So we'll go ahead and just kind of keep spreading it on here and then I'll pull it off and show you how gorgeous this turns out. Wow, look at that, isn't that pretty? Very, very happy with this background so far. So the next thing I did was I pulled the skeleton off of the um, Forbidding set and I'm going to go ahead and stamp him in gray archival ink and on the watercolor paper. And the reason I chose gray is that I want to, um, I don't want it to be very uh, dark. And then I'm also doing some ink smooshing using antique linen distress ink. So again, just kind of drawing, dipping and drying and adding the layers here so that I have it somewhat of a skull color. So there we are, just still working. In the end, after I stenciled the um, the shattered looking um, stencil on top, I decided to go ahead and coat the whole thing in just the hickory smoke distressing kind of ink blended around the edges. And you'll see me do that in a little bit. So again, here is that THS 171 just came out, kind of a shattered looking glass type thing. So again, you can see here that I've started to fussy cut the, um, the skull out. So again, what I'm going to do is go ahead and fussy cut the entire um, skull out so that I can pop him up. I ended up having to layer him on another piece of heavy cardstock just because the once I cut the orbits for the eyeballs out, um, it was pretty thin over there and I really needed it to be a, um, a pretty firm, um, you know, firm piece that would stand up. So again, there's my, there's my skeleton. So again, here I am with the 
hickory smoked ink, just kind of spreading it all over the top. Just kind of fun. I love playing with the, uh, with the distress inks. So here I am back to that background. Then I decided I wanted to add some text. So again, this text came from the Obscure 7, 471. And um, then I also decided to stamp out the um, creepy looking spider and I embossed it. I did uh, use black pigment ink and then uh, clear embossed over the top. And then I also um, embossed that October 31, 1931. And you can see here, I'm adding color over the top. And in the end, I ended up using both the um, Uncharted Mariner and then added seedless preserves on the top because I, you know, I kind of liked it to be more, um, more towards the purple range. So you can see here, I'm just kind of adding, adding purple ink. And then we'll go ahead and trim that sentiment down. So kind of working on making sure I get it straight. <laughs> That's always a challenge, isn't it? So again, in the end, I'm happy with that. And that'll go there on the bottom. And so there is my second cutout for the skeleton head to kind of stabilize it a little bit before I add the foam. And look at this, I'm gonna put yellow eyeballs behind it. This is just too much fun. So now I'm back to the, um, the black, I'm going to assume it's a black widow. So what I did was I used my um, Distress Watercolor Pencils. And what I love about these is you can get great pigment just by dipping your paintbrush in water and then pulling pigment directly off of the, um, the pencils. I think it's just a really cool way to watercolor. So again, I'm kind of adding the red to the, the base of my creepy spider. And then we'll go back and fill in the, the rest of the body with the black. So again, he's all done. So now I'm moving on to putting the card together. So I always, when I'm working with watercolor paper, I always use this thick uh, tacky glue. Um, I just think it gives you a much better seal. So again, I make sure to go around the edges and then there go my fingers to make sure that I've got um, good glue lines all the way to the edges of the watercolor cardstock. And then we'll go ahead and put that on the, on the card base here. And I ended up needing to trim a little bit off. I make my own card bases. So sometimes, you know, they're not perfect. So I just trim to, uh, trim to accommodate. So again, here is that skull again. So I went ahead and I glued him onto that heavier, heavier cardstock. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a black, uh, fun foam. And I'm going to do two layers because I need two layers to fit the eyeballs in there. So we're going to let him dry. And for right now, there you go. You can see the two layers of the uh, black fun foam and the um, orbits, eyeball orbits cut out. And so we're going to, this is how I'm going to put this whole card together. So we'll go ahead and glue that uh, sentiment strip again towards the bottom. And then I'll trim that off later, obviously. This is just a great way to get things centered when you're working with sentiment strips. So the next thing I'm going to do then is add the um, heavy glue to the back of the skull head again. So as you can see, I've got two layers of foam, fun foam on there because that was the only way I could really accommodate the eyeballs. So we'll go ahead and get that attached. And then here we go with the eyeballs. I pulled out my um, collage medium in the, the bottle because again, this stuff holds everything. This is just amazing. So I just kind of used my scissors to straighten the eyeball out. And you'll notice I've got the larger one in the right orbit. And then I've got the smaller one in the left orbit. And ooh, this one took me a little bit of work to, um, to get him straightened out. I had to really, really push um, to get him, you know, centered where I wanted him. Isn't he creepy? <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun. 
And I think in the end, I may be putting him in a, a vintage uh, display box. I don't know. We'll, we'll decide that in a little while. But for right now, he's a card. So again, I added a piece of that black fun, fun foam to the back of the spider and glued it on there. So again, here is my, my final card. Look at all the dimension on that. I just think it's just way too much fun. Way too much fun. So here's the final picture. Again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Blogger. Would love to have you come and subscribe. Have a great day.